to be back. This is sick. Very good to be back. My final full day here in Japan, at least for a little while, and we have a really awesome jam-packed day. I mean, just like every day we've been here, but today is really exciting. So we're gonna be starting out at the Nismo Omori factory, one of the coolest spots for GTR lovers or Nissan lovers in general. This is the actual, actual Omori factory where they build the engines, where they install, do maintenance, do all that cool stuff right inside of here. Ooh, this is uh, R1. Now my 34, Masa's 34 is over here. Now we have a legit Nismo R1, Omori factory R1. So, Omori factory falls back. R1, they call it the R2 Concept Engine Spec 1. They don't call it R2, it's R3, it's R4, R4, so they don't come with like concept engine stuff like that. They all come with R2 or R3. They have this because it's kind of like their concept ideal engine. Of the R2. And or, or R1. So R2 is the evolution of R1. Oh, that is so sick. The so this car awesome. currently has a same wheels that I have, which is a matte black um, LMGT4s, only done on 2017 model only, which is so rare. Brakes. I love the matte color. Yeah. And I look at the brakes. steering wheel. I think it's a one off, oh. like a white one. I don't know which. Might be, might be a mine's one, but it looks cool. That's super nice. All right, we're gonna make our way inside. Give you guys a small tour of what we can see inside, because you can't really get into the actual uh, shop zone, but you can view it. Check out some parts that they have. Check out the showroom. So sick. So this is the R32 Group A engine. Hmm. Right next to that, we have an R34 GGTC GT500 race car engine. Oh my god! And look, look at the differences because this one is wet sump, this is dry sump. So the oh, sump is lower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? That's why the engine hut is totally different. That's so sick, dude. Mm -hmm. The Group A engine is really cool. Yeah. I won't if we can use this engine in your 34, that would be <laughs> sick as fuck. It is so awesome. Dude, all the Z-Tune parts. Z-Tune, the carbon uh, intake piping. Oh, yeah, I have this one. That's all, I know you do. It's so sick. That's a, I, that's a piece that I really want. Maybe when we do the Midori build, we'll get this stuff and send I, it. Then a titanium strut tower bar. Oh, okay, Doesn't guys. Does this look familiar? <laughs> It's a real 400R with no detail. Oh, oh my god. There's is it brand board. new? I think it's restoring it. Mm. That's why. So, That's you guys, why this, this is uh, the actual shop space for Nismo Mori. People can actually come here and get work done. You can get your. Yeah, you can see some Z's in here. You can actually get a full restoration. You guys can get uh, the Nismo engines, anything you want done in here. Do they do body work in here too? Yes. That's oh, well, they outsource the body work, but they will accept, accept it. Yeah. And look how clean this shop is, guys. Absolute goals for Garage Kogeki. You can lick the floor. Yeah. Like I could lick the floor. <laughs> so amazing. The craftsmanship and the work that comes out of this shop is just got to be insane. Insane, man, insane. One of, the, one of the coolest parts about the Mori factory, the dry carbon Z-Tune kit they have just hanging on the wall. I want that 35 hood, but the same design for the 34. I know you guys can't probably, you probably, probably can't read the prices up there, but for the Z-Tune hood that I really, really want, it's 630,000 yen. What could you sell more? Goku Jusama, 630,000 yen, which is right around, probably I would say, probably right around $6,000 for the Z-Tune hood that I want for my 34. One day. One day. One thing I really need for my 34, brand new Xenon headlights. Dude, how look at the price, man. I know, they're almost $3,000. <laughs> for, it's just a one headlight. Oh, just for one. It's not as a pair. No way. So you have, we want to have it in a pair, you have to pay like six thousand dollars for it. <laughs> Almost as much as the hood. But 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 good news for you right now. Your currency rate, currency <laughs> rate is yeah. that it's feasible for the dollar. So yeah. it makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Everything you can imagine, dude. Even OEM, OEM plus. Oh my God! Look at the price, man. Holy shit. Yeah. You can pretty much find whatever you need here. It's so cool. Even like a crank sensor too. Crank angle sensor. Yeah. Okay, one of the coolest parts about the shop is like the little show area that they have in the actual shop here. So awesome, dude. I love this gray. The gray in 34 looks so good. Well, everybody, and 33, dude. Now, now that everybody does it. I've never even seen that one. I've never seen somebody do it like that. 
people do 32. it. 32. Guys, I think we need a set of LMG T4s for sure. Hmm? I think the 33 with some LMG T4s would be... How to contain myself this time. But mm -hmm. check it out, check out what we got. Just some souvenir things. Got some stickers for my travel suitcase, which I think will be super cool. And probably like a, a super, super rare piece. The original Nismo sticker for the R32 GTR. I probably won't use this, but I'm gonna keep it for the collection. Maybe one day Masa will come in here and we'll buy the Z2 hood, but for now, can't justify the seven grand. Yeah, OG logo, bro. OG logo for the 32, and then we just got the basic sticker set for... Yeah. Now, I think we're gonna head to a shop called ASM, which all of my Honda and S2000 guys will probably know. Also, can't leave without coming to one of my favorite spots at the Nismo Mori factory. When you're leaving, you can get your car right underneath the massive Nismo sign right here, and it looks so cool. This is pretty crazy. ASM is literally just in the same parking lot as a family mall. Tell me this isn't one of the sickest things of all time. So they're currently working on this S2000 right here, just in the parking lot. And they're literally doing a suspension overhaul for people to come and see what they're doing. This is so cool. They're just like doing it. In front of, in front of it. Front of, yeah. yeah. And like, it, it, you can see there's like yeah, you can't really see yeah. and everything. Right now, suspension overhaul. Yeah, you can't really see inside the van, but they have all the nuts and bolts and washers, everything laid out. They're doing a dampening adjustment and dampening test inside the van with an actual like compression machine. Yeah, exactly. That's insane. And then they're gonna rebuild them out here for people just to, to view. Dude, Japan is is unlike any other place ever. So this is a ZF is known, also known as Zax, mm -hmm. Zax Callover. Suspension, right. Yeah, and it's not cheap. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> it's not cheap. It's like a, you can buy a 1K car out of it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Two-way suspension. Two-way. ASM two-way. Mm -hmm. But superb suspension. Superb. You can literally just watch the tech right here build the suspension. It's just amazing. It's amazing, yeah. What other shop anywhere else in the world will you find something like this? Where they're just literally the S2000s in pieces in the in the lot and they're rebuilding it in front of people. I know, right? It's That's just so cool. unreal. Rebuilding suspension, we are gonna do a nice walk around, and of course, ASM has an insane collection of S2000s. Oh. One thing that I think is so sick. You guys know how much I love scuba attack and, and time attack, obviously, but this is the infamous ASM scuba time attack car, or scuba attack car. Ran a 56 at scuba attack, which is insane. This isn't it. Right Look in front of Look at this. It's literally right in front of us. Absolutely legendary ASM scuba attack car. Just chilling. It's here, it's real. Such goals, man, that is so cool. Second generation. Scuba attack car. Is it more, it's like a more mild version. Well, it's a streetable car, as you can see with the plate. Oh, nice. So it's a streetable ASN um, attack car. That's sweet. Which ran scuba at minute flat. Oh, that's minute actually flat, super good. That's really fast. Like anywhere, anywhere near that minute mark is really good. And then sub minute is like, you're, you're fast. <laughs> this is so sick, dude. Yeah. As you can see, with a lot of attack stickers. Yeah. I need to find those. And also this one. That is really sick. Yeah, too. Attack. Scuba. I'm telling you guys, for the next couple of years, 
R32 scoop attack, it's gonna happen. Your R32 will have this one. Yes. This banner and we'll this. Have a number plate, yeah. Yeah, and a number. Okay. Zikken. Yeah, we call it Zikken. Zikken. We have Legend Circuit team on this. The sponsor for Ma for Attack Maximum Challenge. That will be sick. <laughs> Full carbon front end. Look at the dry carbon hood. And you can see a little bit of the carbon on the fenders right here. And even the front bumper. This is like S2000 heaven in here. Well, if you're an S2000 fanboy, this is the shop that you go to. Yeah. So really quickly, we're going to get a look at the scuba record setting NAS2000 here. Up close and personal. Holy crap, dude. Masa, I think it was real. Oh my god, it's so sick, dude. Currently has its engine out right now, but getting to see this thing up close and personal, that is crazy. Oh, look at the doors. Oh, so good. Oh, carbon. So it's a carbon composite shop called Challenge that actually made a one-off kit for the ASM S2000. When this set the record, it was NA. It's NA record setting S2000. Nismo no Z-Tune no carbon parts, front bumper toka, bonnet toka. The Artin hood, the z bumper fender, the real dry carbon ones, they actually made the shop, uh, the manufacturer called Challenge. Oh, so that's where these parts were made as well. So in the yep. same factory as like the Z-Tune GTR parts. So basically it's a, it's a Z-Tune for yeah, right? 6000. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So this entire kit, guys, is all dry carbon. Look at this. Actually, you want to know a little bit of fact? You know that car over there, that is 2000? Yes. This is this. Really? Yes. <laughs> this is Kana Amazon's original car. Oh. That's Kana Amazon's car when he got it. Oh, Kana Amazon. Uh, this is your old car? So, so, so. Oh. 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 So, 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 he didn't so. want to sell it to random people, so <laughs> he, he, so made a, so, hi, hi, hi. he made a shop to buy it. Wow. And then he made, basically he made ASM. He's the guy who pitched the idea to Autobox. <laughs> it's a group of Autobox called Autobox. ASM stands for Autobox Secondary Market. Mm. So Khan Amazon pitched the idea to the boss to make an ah. S2000 specific shop. He Not loved S2000 yeah. so much, he, he ditched that idea and they liked it. Here we are. Oh, no, here they are. That is so crazy, guys. This Thanks is Khan Amazon as well. So this oh. is a gift for you. Oh, I got so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it has attack in it. <laughs> so, 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 so. Uh, sake. Sake. Hi, hi, hi. Sake to hashit it. Kanye was so kind to allow us into here to view all of this and, and take his time out to kind of explain a couple of things. That is so freaking cool, man. ASM is not known, well, it's known for having an S2000, mm. but also they do like 8.6 modern cars. Also, they do Recaro stuff. Recaro, Recaro yeah. stuff is for any car. Yeah. So if you want to have a good Recaro seat, any S2000 or like 8.6 related parts, ASM is to go. ASM is to go too. This is awesome. Oh yeah, they're working on uh, 86 over there right now. Very, very cool to actually see that. Oh, hi, hi. Wow, <laughs> it's so light. Well, it's it's definitely came out of some kind of race car, but yes. Kanama san won't tell us. <laughs> ah. uh, it's a secret. He told me it's a secret. Secret. Hi, hi, hi. But you can tell with these adjustments, right? Yeah. This is not your ordinary G2 wing. For sure. This is awesome. Dude, how do, you, how do you feel? I can't believe this is real. I can't believe this is happening. This is so cool. So unfortunately, no engine, no front bumper, because I'm sure they're redoing a bunch of stuff for the upcoming season. But uh, nonetheless, it's very cool to actually just even just view this thing. Look at the cage in the back. That car, this car, same car. <laughs> so awesome. So awesome. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hi. What? An experience. That is so cool. I can't believe we just got to view that car. An absolute legend, dude. Absolute scuba attack legend. Circuit circuit legend, dude. Very cool. Uh, Kaneyama san actually gifted me a couple of attack maximum challenge ASM stickers. That is so awesome, man. Everybody is so kind when we come visit these shops in Japan. It's, it's really, really cool to see. You can see the front bumper and one of the coolest stickers on the car. 
is our red sticker right there, which says uh, Attack NA Class for the 10th Annual Scuba Attack event, which is really, really cool. So, what an honor. I got to go say us. Oh my god, dude. Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't know if you guys understand how big of a deal that is that Kaneyama san just gave us a little tour of the Scuba Attack S2000. Like, he, him, not, not only the car, but also him are attack legends. Attack legends, Masa. He is. He's the one of the, he's the guy who started that jump. Without him, there's no ASM. That is so sick, dude. Ah. Uh. This Japan trip has just been so freaking amazing. Our last, our, the last day definitely did not disappoint. We got Nismo, ASM, got to see the ASM S2000 scuba attack race car, and then we have a nighttime meet tonight. This is gonna be awesome. Next up, we're getting one of Masa's favorite burgers. Yep. Favorite and burger spots. Yep. Um, me and Albo always goes to the shop whenever we visit ASM. Mm. It's a go-to burger shop. Mm. It's so good. Oh my god. So, how's the hamburger presentation? A very good presentation. Take a look at this. Oh. Nope. Dude, it's so juicy. Look at the juice. All right, we're just gonna go for it. Here we go. Oh my god, no juice. This is one of the best cheeseburgers I've ever had in my whole life. Look at that. The juice, the bun, the sauce. Good. I told you it's a worth the wait. We wait for like 30 minutes right now. It's worth the wait. I'm spilling all over myself. This is the real deal. The real JDM burger here. Holy. All right, lunch was amazing. We finally got to stop here at one of my favorite, oh, one of my favorite PAs in Japan. This is a place called Tatsumi. And when I first came to Japan, Tatsumi was absolutely awesome. I mean, it still is, but it's a little bit different now. As you guys can see, this all of these retaining walls, or I guess sound walls, whatever you want to call them, this is all new construction that wasn't here previously. And that's to block the sound from all the cars and all of the, like, I guess, buildings over there. In the past, they didn't have these walls, so you could get a really awesome shot of the skyline. It looked especially amazing at nighttime because all of the buildings were lit up and you could get your car either in like this parking lot or over in the corner and it just looked really amazing. But in the last couple of years, they did a lot of work to kind of block that and I guess it's for sound and stuff. Still pretty cool, but definitely not as cool. Also, another downside is the PA closes around six to eight o'clock at night. So you can't even get here at night anymore. So that's why most people come during the day. met the owner of this 34 super awesome guy he had it since it was brand new right yep why did he have three three nismo engines because he run so I, I can't tell you i can't disclose where but he runs <laughs> in the infamous metropolitan yes pretty sick so fun fact here you guys remember when we went to mcr he actually used to run with kobayashi san of mcr which but at the time only rival was gtr either other gtrs or kobayashi san that's so cool Matane. <laughs> yes. It's so cool that you can still meet some OG highway runners in Tokyo, you know? Even though these cars are getting more and more expensive, some of them still have their old cars, which is really, really cool. Last and final stop before our midnight meet is someone you guys might know. So we are meeting one of my good friends and very, very talented driver, Maya Arito. And I'm sure you guys might know her from her father, Max Arito, who's a legendary driver on the level of Keichi Tsuchiya. Uh, if you guys are fans of option video or hot version, toge driving, all the old school toge 
racing videos on YouTube, you guys will know exactly who Max Arudo is. Well, I actually met Maya at SEMA last year and we became really good friends. And Arudo-san's shop is actually in Yokohama, pretty close to where we're going. So we're gonna go say hi to Maya and check out the shop. Everybody say hello to Maya. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for letting me wash my car. Yeah. We're gonna wash the GTR before we go to the car meet, but this is uh, this is Maya for everybody that doesn't know. The infamous race car driver. Maya, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, wow. So good. It's man cave. Yes. Hi. Yeah, we have a simulator here. Sim? Yeah. Racing? Oh man. Are you gonna beat me on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to a Max Orizo's demo car man? Yeah. You see on magazines and it's right in front of us. It's real life, dude. Absolute legend. So this thing is freaking sick. Look at these on GTs. It's a 19-inch and a GT4 is part of the early iterations. That's crazy looking, dude. The ones. This is awesome. It's a respect to Nero, I think? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want so it, I don't want rad. It. Want it's so go cool. So, 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 please. You've been driving a lot. Everywhere, yeah. yes. yes. Just... Set up, dude. This is legit. Dude, this is not just your ordinary, like a Gran Turismo sim rig that you guys have. This is like a 40, <laughs> 40 gram worth of sim in tattoo right here. Uh, and Maya's gonna kick my butt, dude. Crushing. Absolutely smoked both of us. Oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. Just washing my GTR at Rito shop here. Pretty cool. Good Daniel Life. Daniel Life action. <laughs> Maya Son, what do you think about this car? So cool. I think Maya should drive it. No, scary. Total gay. This is <laughs> I don't want to try. <laughs> Make it dirty, <laughs> especially at the back. Yeah. Cause that was freaking pulling. The toge? Toge. Toge. At at Miyogi, he was going nuts on Miyogi. Yeah. Have you been? Fired? No. Should be good enough. Yeah. The, you have to do rear more. Oh. Right here. Dustin, you have to cut this and edit this out, or else it's gonna be fucking pulling. Yeah, cause you just give me one long. Giant clip. Yeah, I'll give you one long giant clip. <laughs> this is the life, bro. Letting Maya Rita wash your car for you. <laughs> wash it with me. Yeah, I know. Wash your wash with you. Quick disclaimer: I did not solicit Maya Rita to wash my car. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, this is life, man. You come to Japan, you do the sim rig. After the sim rig, you wash your car. All right, car is all cleaned up and good to go shout out to maya for helping us out so maya is gonna ride with us to the car meet tonight we're gonna have a lot of fun we're gonna get some food real fast and then it should be time to go meet up with some friends before we head to the the meet so we'll have maya co-pilot and we're gonna have a fun night you've been in a gtr before yeah no 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 are you joking me no have you ever... first time oh my gosh I'm never so been in a gtr or driven one no who thinks maya needs to come to the u.s and drive the attack 32 Sunny, Sunny, GTR. Sunny, Sunny, GTR. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Yeah. Suck, suck it. Suck it. Hi, suck it. Suck it. GTR. Ikita, Ikita. All right, we good, Maya? Proceed yep. to the route. Let's see. So cool. 
Maya, this is my first time in Shibuya. Really? Since uh, since coming back. Really? Two years, yes. Finally. Also, fun fact, everybody. Maya is a woman of culture. She enjoys uh, American old school hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> she told me. Yeah. She likes the beat, but can't understand yeah. anything. <laughs> I don't really understand. Oh, this is Shibuya Crossing. Uh, for Tokyo Drift fans, this is uh, the iconic Tokyo Drift scene on Shibuya Crossing. That's so sick. Pretty cool that we get to drive my 34 in Japan on this road and then it's gonna get imported to the US. That's yeah. sick. We have made it. I think this is the correct lot. If you guys remember last time we were in Japan, we came to the same exact car meet, but it was during Tokyo Auto Salon. So it was absolutely crazy during Auto Salon. Really? Yes. Works of a co-pilot. I got the go sign on soon. Absolutely sick. Oh. No Tokyo Drift, bro. made it. So we just pulled up to the meet and there's nobody here yet but but when we pulled up these two cars were here absolutely insane. I follow this guy on Instagram but I can't remember his ad. We found his Instagram. I knew that I followed him. His car is so sick. I followed him for a very very long time. So good I didn't see that. <laughs> Front aero desk. Makeup. Makeup. Brand. Hi. Hi. Auto select. Auto select, mm. auto select. Hi, hi, hi. So auto select canards right here. I want to know what his front lip is. That's sick. Mandi. 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 Osaka. Nihon no Osaka no. Ah, hi, hi, hi. Shop out of uh, shop out of Osaka called Monday. Monday. Hi, wow. Scary this guy. Hi, hi, hi. Who is this guy? Bullet. 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 Oh. Z-tune type. Hi, 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 hi. Sugay, sugay, sugay. Craft to sports? Craft to square. Craft to square. Hi, hi, so does, so does. Wow, craft square, mirrors, Z-tune style front. Oh my gosh, I got to go say that. Sugay desune. Very, very cool, very cool. Ah, top secret. Top secret. Hi, hi. So, Top secret rear diffuser back here. Hi, hi, hi. Ooh, Tomei exhaust with a silencer on it. Mm. It's very cool, dude. I love seeing 33s with wings. It just like fits. Look at this. Oh, very cool. So, you guys look back here. He has Nismo, or he has endless big brakes, but with like a Nismo touch. He added the Nismo logo onto the big brake kit. That is sick. So good. <laughs> so cool getting to see this thing in person. I've followed him for so long on Instagram, but seeing it actually in person, this is so cool. <laughs> so this is the car that actually invited us out. Funny enough, when we were on the toge, we actually passed him going down and had no idea. But then he messaged me later and said that uh, he saw our cars. How long do you think it takes the average person to take off one tape and thread in a new one? Well, it looks like our car meet was a little bit... Uh... Our secret car meet was a little bit too secret. Too secret, too secret. <laughs> you don't want to go run Dude, some you loops? haven't done a proper C1 loop run. We should do a C1 loop run. C1 right? loop run? Because it's so close. 34, 34, and that's okay? Definitely. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're going to head out and do some long gone runs. Let's do it. Last first one, man. Last, first, last, last, one. last and last first one. one of the trip. Yes. Let's have some fun to. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's have some fun tonight.
about running the highways. It's so fun. Yeah? You drove so fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, just drove really fast to the speed limit mm -hmm. and then went the speed limit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Runs. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. Nah, it was just too much traffic. I'm Take sure. our word for it. It was really good. It was really awesome. Well, it wasn't as good as the Tokyo run stuff, but still it was fun. Definitely one of the sickest meetup spots on the loop. Um, mostly, mostly all of the PAs closed down now, so there's a lot of like OG spots that you can go to and actually meet up with cars. Yeah. Here? Yeah, I'm saying like a lot of the PAs are closed, so there's, so there's, so there's a lot of like OG spots. Well, like can... a ghetto spots. Yeah. <laughs> This is ghetto, by the way. This is pretty cool. So we're uh, going to head to the next loop. Do not do this at your home, guys. Don't do this at your home. <laughs> yeah, um, we're going to next loop. Next loop. Let's go. Let's go. Round two. Round two. Hey. Stupid GoPro's dead. Oh, sh oh no. no Zero not. footage from any of these toge runs. This is our our, our, <laughs> our highway runs. Oh, you 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 and prefer toge, huh? These are our best highway runs of the entire trip. Dude, that was freaking amazing. That was what amazing. a run. Wow. Well, I did go a bit fast. Maya, what do you think? So fun. <laughs> you a good co I've never been here. I've never um, done the loop mm, before. Mm, mm. It was the first time for me. Were you like, turn left, turn right? No, I didn't do right. So we are currently at a PA coined Tatsumi 2 because it looks almost identical to Tatsumi. Um, just a little bit smaller. Not as cool for sure, but still very, very cool. This is, is this also called Tatsumi? Yes. That's but cool. This is Tatsumi number, number two. two. Yes. But you can also get some photos of the skyline in the back on this one too. Just not as crazy as the first one was, but still looks freaking sick. So gay. Sugoi. Well, I feel like I've been a really crappy YouTuber today. All my equipment's not working or running the highways, but I'm trying to just take it in. Today is my last day here in Japan, like I told you guys at the beginning. And uh, this was honestly the best trip of my entire life. Amazing. And to really finish it off with a day like today, hitting so many awesome shops, uh, getting to see my friend Maya again, running with Masa and Albo on the loop. It's just been completely amazing and I'm trying to just really soak it all in before I have to bring this thing back. But um, the good news is I'm actually coming back in July. So if you stay this long, you guys get in, get to know in on a little secret. I'll be back in July, uh, staying until mid-August. So I'll be here for a very, very long time, secondary. But you guys know that I have my race coming up in Michigan, which is why I have to go home. I'm gonna go spend some time with Tiana and Sparko and then come right back here uh, and enjoy about three more weeks of Japan. But yeah. Just really gonna try and enjoy tonight, guys. I know none of my equipment is really working right now, but take it, take my word for it. It has been awesome, awesome highway runs, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. I'm gonna keep filming till we get done, but it's been a really awesome night. Little group photo before I go. It, it was like everyone's dream JDM trip. In two weeks. We did it. We did it. Everything cool. Well, not everything cool. We have we have a lot left to do when I come back next time. So. Oh yeah. Hey, I gotta say, dude, thank you. Like because of you. And, and Masa, of course. Like, I got a chance to see the car culture like through fresh eyes almost. Yeah. And when I, whenever I see you like smiling and you're like, oh, this is sick, this is awesome. I'm just like, remember it's it not is. normal. Yeah. It is, yeah. You remember it's not normal that we that we're, we get to do this. We're privileged, we're blessed. Yeah, absolutely. It's because of you guys too, for both of us. Alvin and I can contest. We wouldn't be here without you guys watching. Thank so. you guys so Thank much. Thank you guys. And more JDM content to come from your favorite, Hell favorite yeah. group of bros right here.
Bye bye, bitches. Job of me. It's our last Tokyo view of the trip. Definitely did not disappoint. I love this so much. I think it's wild looking. look at our uh our japan home bags are packed one last look at my little room uh, i'm gonna miss sleeping in here even though i'll literally be back in like three or four weeks i really don't want to leave i'm really gonna miss this place this was awesome first time ever staying in a super traditional japanese home great experience 10 of 10 we'll do next time all right final look guys it's we're heading back home today I'm gonna miss you <laughs> I'm sad that I have to take your all your shit to the airport <laughs> into my yeah. freaking 34 we got two cases of clothes and one cases of parts or more like a two cases of clothes and one case of stickers and a lot of stuff <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like I guess I could say Two clothes, two packs of two packs of clothes, and a lot of stuff from Emily Beauty. Yeah, that's right. My flight is in just a few hours. We need to head to PDI to go drop off the R34, and the Masa is going to be taking us back to the airport. Also, guys, we got to give a massive shout out to Masa for organizing, helping me organize this entire trip, taking me everywhere, helping me speak. Mhm. Mm Thank you, Masa. You're the real MVP. Everybody loves you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I mean, I hope I could go to America, and uh, maybe I have chance to you to be my chauffeur <laughs> yeah <laughs> i did a lot of chauffeuring let us know guys in the comments if you want to see masa in america we'll do a we'll do an america trip for masa next time but yeah huge thank you to masa i'm no going to and leave the top ring channel down in the description so you guys can thank you. see more of him thank you so we're gonna go and load up everything and i guess let's just go drop off 34 man you're gonna cry aren't you <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna miss this place, huh? I love this place, man. This was this was definitely my best day ever in Japan. Because of you, because of this place, Albo was awesome. Did the boys trips. We had such a good time with everything that we did. I think next time uh, we'll stay for a little bit longer. And then it's gonna be really hot, so we'll take a break and come back in the winter time. Dude, do it. Huh? Let's go to the beach together. Beach? Beach day with Masa? Yeah. We can do that. Beach day with Masa, man. That'll be fun. Okay. You ready? Ah, uh, let's take you home. Let's, let's go home, man. Yeah. One last walk around of the 34 Masa before we leave. Yeah, sure. Really quickly, I want to show you guys something pretty cool. Okay, so this entire trip, I, I knew we were going to be doing a lot, so I wanted to kind of calculate how many miles we're going to be doing. So over the course of the two weeks, Masa, we drove 3,092 kilometers. That's almost 2,000 miles. 3,100 miles. Uh-huh, 3,100 kilometers, yeah. That's almost 2,000 miles in two weeks. It's kind of ridiculous, but... That's insane, but we had so much fun doing it. This was the best trip of all time.
uh, future Dutt here, and we have finally made it back to the States. Uh, we're in a weird location. We are actually in Michigan right now for Gridlife. Weird timeline update here. The next couple of videos that you guys get are still going to be Japan videos. I have a couple of single videos that I saved because I really wanted to be home to edit them. You're gonna still get Japan videos. But then after that, we have really exciting uh, grid life time attack videos with the attack 32, which is where I'm currently at right now But just wanted to give you guys a quick update. We finally made it home We were having a great time before we end this I have a huge announcement for you guys as you guys know We previously did the legends trading cards Do you guys absolutely love them We are currently working on on set number two for the trading cards And I want to do something special for you guys. You guys love them so much I wanted to integrate you some way into the next set. So if you guys are a legends V VIP member from now all the way until Monday you guys can submit a picture of your car I'll put the email on the screen right here you guys can submit a picture of your car and we are gonna be choosing one winner to make your car into a Legends trading card. So like I said, I just wanted to get you guys involved. I thought this was such a cool idea to get one of you in the actual second set. It's gonna be amazing. So take the best picture of your car, send it to this email address right here, and we're gonna be picking a winner uh, next Monday. So at some point next week, you guys will get the announcement on who's actually gonna be in the second set. So don't miss out. And if you guys are not a VIP member yet, now is the perfect time to sign up. You guys get tons of benefits, early access to drops, exclusive deals and offers, event offers, offers t-shirt that nobody else gets unless you're a VIP member every single month um, it's great and you guys get included in the trading cards so definitely check it out all right guys if you have not already please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave me hashtag made it to the end Japan finale edition all right guys I'll see you in the next one peace out mm -hmm.